the covid-19 disease uh, caused by the novel coronavirus identified back in december 2019 in china and declared a global pandemic by the who on march 11 this year uh it's it's been a terrible journey for for the entire uh uh population worldwide as of today uh, it has infected nearly 3 million people and killed over 200,000 around the world alongside governments and healthcare workers academicians and scientists are using technology to fight back by leveraging complex data analysis in diagnosis epidemiology and treatment and now in what seems like a major breakthrough professor kamal jain of the indian institute of technology rurki has claimed to have developed an ai tool which can detect covid-19 within 5 seconds using the x-ray scan of the suspected patient to talk more about this software we have professor jain with us today uh, professor jain uh, for our reviewers could you please explain about your software the genesis of the idea and how you prepared it how you've readied it okay uh, we have been working on image processing otherwise for different application uh, in J- march uh, beginning so i just read that uh, x ray can be used to find out covid and in america there was some case study they started doing it and it was using machine learning so machine learning is very for beginners it is machine learning but otherwise it will be deep learning so uh, we started working on that and in 30 35 days uh, we could get the result which we wanted right so uh, ai is definitely a tremendously powerful medium and it's it's a technology that has shown great uh, you know impact and positive impact in on on healthcare uh, but it is also important how this particular technology has been used i mean the way it is designed and uh, in your case uh, have you collaborated with the doctors and radiologists to to train your model you know uh, they cannot train the model the basic uh, principle in a uh, deep learning is that you have some data uh, which is identified that these are the normal x rays and these are the x rays of uh, covid patient those are used for, to train model the data right so the uh, so once you get the model refined model now you if you feed any x ray uh, out of like all which we have used for testing we had few which we use for testing uh, we uh, few we use for testing others for training so the which were uh, we left for tra- uh, testing then later on we tested on that so we found quite satisfactory result now uh, what you said doctors and all now they come in the picture so uh, when we are giving to them they can validate so that's why we have written to icmr to validate check could you could you explain or brief us the the process how how it works it's it's an application it's a software how do you get started you uh, normally now you x ex- rays are digital otherwise if it is hard copy then doctor sees on the display so our software works on desktop as well as uh, on mobile so mobile doctor will take a snapshot of the screen and directly press a button and he will get the result similarly in on desktop he will feed the digital x ray and it will give the result in terms of results is in the form that percentage of uh, uh, probability you can say probability of the person having positive or negative so the software exclusively works with x rays or it is also compatible with ct scans because ct scans provide superior level of imaging as compared to x ray right now it was trained only on x ray but uh, because uh, we have got the how how it will be done so we can do it for ct scan and may cover other diseases also Could you tell us uh, some details about the data set have you edited it yourself or are you using some open source uh, data set open source is available on different 
sites. So from there we have taken because uh, right now COVID is a new thing. So uh, and in, in India it has not started. So it was not possible to have data in India. So internationally, whatever was available, from there we trained. Right. So as I understand, uh, when a doctor or radiologist uploads an image, the software will, will this scan is of the lung, I understand, right? Could you clarify? Just, just X-ray which covers lungs. Right. So when, when a radiologist or doctor uploads this particular chest X-ray, the software will be able to determine if uh, the X-ray is showing a condition of COVID pneumonia or some other disease, maybe bronchitis or a bacterial pneumonia. Is that correct? Yes. It's not only showing, it will mark also that what basis it is detecting that. Could you explain in detail how the process works? You know, like if I take a X-ray, my X-ray and go to the radiologist, he will see some pattern and by his background he knows the pattern belongs to particular disease or it is a normal one. Uh, the big machine learning part has done that, that thing, radiologist part. So now itself the machine will tell that uh, this is having a sign of particular disease. Right, so it will distinguish based on the knowledge it has that whether the scan is representative of a, a, a COVID pneumonia or it is a pneumonia that may be caused due to bacteria or some other disease like tuberculosis or even bronchitis or other chest infection. Correct. Right. And uh, if, if you can explain uh, how the highlight process works, will it highlight uh, the area of uh, anomaly that it understands? You know, when it is trained for um, a particular uh, uh, and form the model, so in training only, it has found out a pattern. So it will mark the pattern or if it find in, in, on any X-ray and it will mark the pattern by some color. So is that also how a radiologist can verify if uh, the findings of the software are in line with their uh, abstract knowledge of medicine and radiology? Definitely. It will help a radiologist also. Uh, and in his absence, uh, because of faster detection, suppose you want to just find out whether, whether it is positive or not, or you want to give priority. So this can be used for deciding the priority. We will go for ventilators and all that. So a similar idea was also adopted by some labs in China and uh, fairly recently by a Canadian company called Darwin AI. Uh, is your tool similar to theirs or you have some, some of your own um, improvisations here? You know, machine learning is a very wide term. And in that they are using different model. And model is not simple equation. It is a combination of thought. They are using some thought, we are using some thought, others are using and ultimately it will be only accuracy which defines the uh, quality of model. Could you expand on that point, uh, the, the kind of thought that is being implemented while training the model or the neural idea behind it? Because eventually the data set used by you or even the other companies is fairly same, an open source uh, COVID net or COVID X data set. Right. Uh, you know, when you're finding the model ultimate aim there are only two ultimate aims. One is the accuracy part. Second is uh, the time. How to reduce the time that you optimize. So you, you cannot say this model is better, that model is better. Ultimately, it should give desired accuracy within uh, the time which you are planning. So what we tried that within short time we should get, so uh, 90 uh, uh, with available data, it was giving about 90% better than 90% accuracy within four to five seconds. So we accepted that model. Right, 90% accuracy within a time frame of four to five seconds. Right. All right. And what is the current rate of false negatives? False negative, uh, you know. Uh, In fact, fal false negative or false positive, both ways. False negative, you see, percentage is defining. So that means uh, 
टू थ्री इन हंड्रेड मे बी फॉल्स नेगेटिव राइट दैट्स अ फेयरली लो नंबर and uh, has your software been reviewed by any medical institution like the icmr itself icmr i have already written letter and uh, we are getting some response other institute uh, i am trying to open i may open it on demo basis so that they can is- start using and give their opinion like with respect to data set within india i mean in india the the condition of uh, of the infectivity and even how the cases are coming up it's fairly different from the kind of data we're seeing in europe or even us do you think a different data set would be more accurate for india definitely you know pattern this pattern is geographically de- uh, dependent so when you have for this area this will be more trained for this area and because this software is not that uh, today it is final once you add more data and again training will be repeated and it will be then it will include the uh, data which we that, that means uh, type of uh, it will cover the this geographical location also once you include data of this location and uh, are there any steps uh, we're taking for for including data from within india is that data even available for scientists to use no it is not available so that's why i am opening so that they start using it and in a way then indirectly will get the feedback and data also so uh, do you think uh, this this tool can uh, replace the clinical rt pcr test to detect covid 19 rt pcr being a very expensive and time taking test you know it both are complementary uh sub case you may not require like suppose a person is uh, cured and uh, then after 10 days uh, we we want to check it so then instead of going for rpc you can go for x ray and directly you can find out right and uh, at what stage are we with this uh, with this software is it production ready or uh, you still need to train the model for improved efficiency it- it is production ready i wanted to demonstrate you all on live on that yeah we we had a hurdle there but mm. uh, hopefully for the viewers we we'd be able to do it in the coming uh, days if we can arrange a session mm. and uh, how do you view the lockdown situation and uh, what's your view of the entire way we've uh, tackled the corona virus condition in india because this virus is not known world over and what i think only option is first get away from the virus and uh, no other way better way than lockdown so lockdown you can say just you get prepared to know the virus to know the medicine to get the cure and then you open up right i'll also take uh, some questions we have from from our uh, facebook viewers um uh, ramesh is asking uh, uh, can you explain the rationale behind choosing x ray over other uh, available diagnostic measures like a ct scan you know uh, time was short and it was uh, we tried all different types of data so uh, bulk of data we got for x ray but we know that it can be trained for now anything uh, for different disease also even on ultrasound or ct scan anything right i think uh, that's all we have on facebook as of now and uh, with regards to your software i think we we wish to see a live demo soon and i wish you success uh, in the coming days i hope it gets uh, approved and you can further test it with with ct scans and even other uh, definitely for, yeah for for india specific uh, yeah, yeah. scans we are working fast so i think everything will be included right and uh, my final question would be uh, has has somebody from the government approached you with this with this uh, particular software in in helping it reach uh, labs and hospitals yeah many private government also they approached me but right now i am not disclosing because you know 
there was some comment in uh, uh, youtube also that uh, without uh, validation how we are uh, giving in news so uh, i am not disclosing name but uh, they are in contact right so you probably waiting for uh, some sort of approval and once you get that approval you maybe roll it out to other no uh, not approval it's a software so no right. approval is required so there it's are no, like, there are no regulatory hurdles are you saying that no no nothing. you just you just need to have a, a proof of uh, authenticity and then the kind of result it is showing and then you can move ahead with it yeah if hospitals are not convinced they will not use the software because it because it matters life and death so it has to have certain level of proved or validated or uh, you know efficiency to be used in conditions like this you know even when we say 90% the person like uh, you have seen rapid testing facility also uh, somewhere the accuracy was 70% somewhere it was 5% and ultimately government decided not to use it similarly in this case if they don't find uh, accuracy uh, acceptable enough they may not use it because you cannot say no one will can guarantee right now without the uh, with the available data they, no one can guarantee so what i can say with the available data this is the, this was the best possible all right uh, thank you jan uh, dr jan for uh, speaking with us that, that was an insightful interview and uh, hopefully we can uh, uh, decide upon another meeting and uh, show the live demo of the software as well right all right sir thank you so much thank for speaking thank you thank you okay. Bye.